As far as real grade kits go, the real grade Unicorn Gundam is without a doubt the best real grade so far. Packing in so much detail, quality and a full transformation into a kit so small. So how exactly does the Band Destiny version of Unicorn differ from the original kit? Honestly, not really all that much. This is essentially the standard real grade Unicorn, just with one extra addition. And that is the massive transformable shield known as the Armed Armor DE. So even if you had the real grade already or haven't got your hands on one just yet, this does have something a little bit different in here, but does it make it worth the purchase? Well, let's find out. Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another Gunpla review and today I'm taking a look at this right here. And of course, this is the real grade Unicorn Gundam Band Destiny version. And like it says down there on the right hand side, this is a limited product. And as usual, I wouldn't have this if it wasn't for those awesome people over at Hobby Link Japan. So if you want one of your own, then check out that link down there in the description. But anyway, onto the box and first off there is the front of the box. Just like what we saw before with the standard unicorn, except this time it's red and we've got the new shield here. Anyway, let's take a quick look around the box. So first off, there's the right hand side of the box and everything on here is pretty much what we saw before. There's the kit itself in unicorn mode, again with that armed armor shield. Some info on the features of the suit itself, again we've got some more about the shield included on here, looks like we get some stickers, and there is the finished kit in destroy mode. Flipping that around to the other side, and once again you can see that this is pretty much the original kit, the original RG that we saw before, but this time with the included armed armor shield. So kind of like what we would have gotten a few years ago with the Master Grade, except instead of selling the shield separately, they have it included in this box right here. And finally, this would cost you about 4,000 yen. Flipping that around and we've got a red bottom. First up is the manual. As you can see, this comes in two sections. That is the standard manual we got before and this supplement for the Armed Armor DE. So if you have a unicorn you had before, like this one I made earlier, check out that review if you haven't, then you don't necessarily have to build this. Of course, if you want two unicorns, then build the second one, but you have the option not to. And if you don't have a real grade unicorn, well, this kit, you'll be missing out on nothing from the original one, just getting something extra. As for those new runners, we get a white one, which is M, dark gray N1, light gray P, clear O, and we get a set of stickers as well. There is what it will look like once it's finished. We've got a decal guide on there. And just like you'd expect from a real grade, this looks incredibly detailed. Looking pretty cool. So as we've already seen everything that comes with this guy, let's just focus on what's new in this kit. So we get two bags of four runners as well as those stickers in there. And there are all the parts to the Armed Armor DE. Now let's get a built. And just if you're curious as where his hand and the back of his leg went, well, let's just say my gunpla had a rough time getting moved from Japan to Ireland. A really rough time. Maybe I might actually make a video on pulling all this stuff out and trying to put it back together. But man, what a mess. So I will mention one thing about the build of this thing. The forerunners that come to make the Armed Armor DE aren't enough to make it. It does use some of the parts of the runners of the original kit. So that means if you're going to build the Armed Armor DE, you're using some of the parts of the shield. So that means you cannot build the shield as well. And there it is. Finally finished. Of course, as you can see, just like any real grade, especially the real grade unicorn itself, this has an insane amount of detail and looks great. The decals are the standard sticker style ones, but they still look pretty cool. Like I said, it does have a transformation, so here it is in its transformed mode, looking absolutely epic, perfectly matching the awesome destroy mode of the unicorn Gundam. As for the transformation, it's pretty simple. These parts just bend up like this. Those little psycho frame parts in there. The whole shield slides down like that. Around here on this side, we've got the same parts we've seen before in this shield. So sliding those out. And as you can see, these are the parts from the original kit. These are the parts from the new Armed Armor DE parts. And they're not quite as vivid as the original ones, are they? But anyway, this part here slides out. And then this part here all folds out like that. So that is the transformation and that is pretty simple. Besides that, we just got a couple of moving parts around here. This part can, well, it can't really turn around on its own. You kind of have to slot it out and back in to move that around. And this part then can slide up and down ever so slightly. As for attaching it onto the unicorn, it's just like you would have before with the standard shield just clipping onto the arm, just like so. 
So all in all, the quality of this is definitely solid, just as high as the real grade unicorn itself, and it most definitely just looks awesome. However, is it worth buying if you already have the real grade unicorn already? Well, that I can't say. It's an awesome little piece, but buying a brand new kit for it might be a little bit much. That's up to you. But if you don't happen to have the real grade unicorn already, now is the best time. This is a limited product, so you might have to get it pretty quick. But either way, if you do want it, check out that link down there in the description. And as always, make sure to come back for more Gunpla reviews, and I'll see you next time.